this website and if I donate $13 to charity, what? I might win a trip for us to Disney World. Are, are you there? You give money to it, a charity and you get to go to Disney for free? It says 100% of the donation goes to charity. There's no way that's not what it says it is. I donate, I might get a prize. Disney must have donated the contest. Look, you don't know what you're talking about. You're on the Omaze website, I can see it. Omaze is actually a for-profit company. That means they're making money off of your transaction, which is entering a sweepstakes. What, how, how, can, this, how can this not be what it is? Don't believe me, fine, I'll tell you. Welcome to Omaze. Omaze is a for-profit company that does give a significant amount in dollars to charities and nonprofits every year. But Omaze was started as a for-profit company and continues to be run as a for-profit company. The reason that I wanted to do this video after researching them and not finding answers for many years is that they have done some things that I feel for my personal ethics are a little bit mm, disappointing. So when people go to the website and they see the donate button for Omaze and it says 100% of your donation goes to charity, they've been doing some funky business to make sure that that says donation instead of entering a sweepstakes. Behind the scenes, Omaze, a for-profit company, is directly sending every penny collected on the Omaze website to an intermediary charity called CAF America. Everything I look up about CAF, which is an international company, and CAF America, which is their American subsidiary, shows that they're a completely legit Nonprofit. So they're basically a nonprofit that allows the facilitation of donations across border, vetting of charities to make sure they are legitimate charities when you're giving to them, and basically processing charitable donations for other charities or sending money to other charities. By the way, I keep saying charities. Charities and nonprofit in my head are the same. So CAF takes 100% of that money and then chunks it up into different portions to cover all the costs and then gives what's left to the charity. So what does this cost? Well, Omaze does disclose that even though 100% of the money is going to a charity, they take 12 to 20% on average. CAF then has to take from the 88 to 80% 80 left money to cover the payment processing fees, money to cover the cost of the prize and everything associated with the prize, money to cover the marketing and content creation for the contest, and as well, anything else that needs to be covered. They also take 1% themselves to cover the fact that they're administering this. How much of this is actually going to the charity you support though, or you think you're supporting? Well, it actually depends on if it's a celebrity experience, or a material experience. On the celebrity experience, there's a guaranteed 60% of the money going directly to the charity you think you're supporting. And I know you think that's barely over half, but that's actually pretty good for contests like this. Omaze at some point discovered that it's way better to run material contests like cars and cash and vacations. Say you enter a contest on the Omaze website to win a car. You think, it's 13 bucks, relax, so it's not all going to charity. How much do you think is going to charity? Do you think it's $10? Do you think it's eight? Do you think it's five? Do you think it's three? Do you think it's two? In some cases, only $1.95 is actually going to the charity out of the $13 you've donated. This concept of for-profit companies helping charities and charities not actually getting the 100% of the donation is not a new one. In Canada, for hospital charities, so things like, hey, the QE2 home lottery where I live, or win a car if you buy this $100 ticket to support the hospital, those contests, when someone researched, actually only gave 27% of the funds collected to the charities on average. That's because the rest of the costs had to go to cover the prizes in those contests too. But what I really take issue with Omaze's website and say 100% of the money goes to charity. Yeah, sure, it goes to charity, so the charity can then give them 12 to 20%. I really think their specific choice of words 
are a little bit misleading and are meant to make sure that the consumer spends as much money as possible and thinks they're doing good by donating to a charity. I personally choose to donate to local charities near me, even if there aren't prizes, to make sure that a higher proportion of the funds that I give to the charity is giving back to the charity because I have a finite amount of resources in my life and I want those finite resources that I give to help the people in my community. One of the things Omaze has to do to make sure that they are not considered gambling at a lottery by the government is to make sure there's a way to enter the contest for free. That's why you always read your terms and conditions. I remember this years ago on Amaze when I first started looking into them, but it was very, very down below. I know this is my opinion, and this is all my opinion, by the way, but from my research, there's no way the charity is benefiting like the way you think they are. Well, I can tell you all about my research on Amaze because I've been in this basement for two years.